What up, check peeps? All right, we're gonna try to keep this on the down low. We got a kiddo sleeping. Speaking of kiddos, I thought this would be a cool little thing. I make the little kiddos food all the time. We got a little 16 month old Charlie Mae upstairs, napping away. Um, and ever since she's been born, she's been a vegetarian, mostly vegan. She eats a little bit of dairy, a little bit of egg every now and then. Um, that being said, we've been really focused on trying to make sure that she gets enough protein, that she gets fed a, a balanced meal and something we can prepare on our Sunday kind of bang out day and something we can get done and pull out of the fridge, packed up, labeled up, ready to rock out. So this is kind of real do on our Sunday when we bang out a lot of our food and this is our, our, our baby processing food day too. So I kind of thought I'd share this with you and the Trek family. Um, considering we are probably all got kiddos at home, you don't have to be vegetarian or vegan if you don't want to, but if you do, this is awesome tools to help you get through because the big questions with a lot of it is protein and you get that hit up a lot. The one thing I do not have today, just I'm not gonna run out to the grocery store in, in these crazy times. Every second you run out of a few things, so we just improvise a lot now and we don't have quinoa right now. Uh, so we're gonna be all right. We're gonna substitute with some little bean um, and, and we got a little protein in the peas, avocados, sweet potatoes. We got enough protein going on. Anyways, so we're gonna be fast and furious, like I was saying. Keep on sleeping. Okay, so a lot of times I get out my bases like this and I wanna consider I'm gonna make like three or four different meals out of this. Boiled, super easy potatoes, chopped carrots, frozen peas go in. Squashes, butternut, sweet potato, roasted, super easy. Just get the things, swack them in half, seed the butt squash, slap it on a sheet tray, bake it. You just scoop it out when it's warm. It's a little bit easier. Don't let it chill too much when you're scraping. Slap it in a bowl. And then you got all these components. Behind here, we got a little bit of uh, cauliflower. That's just straight up blue with boiled smash. So you got a little cauliflower smash. You got some black beans. Uh, sauteed uh, red peppers kind of just tossed around. We got a little bit of roasted uh, apples left over from her breakfast oatmeal. So we're going to use up some of those. Those pair up well with the sweet potatoes. So you kind of want to, I'm kind of thinking about what I'm going to smash all together and come up with different meals. This is usually a base that I'll always kind of keep with my cauliflower and avocado. I tend to smash my beans and throw those in with the squashes and, and the sweet potato. It always varies. All right, if we get going too much and, and it gets just a little too pasty, we're going to throw in a little almond milk. Fun stuff is when it's all done, you get to slam all this stuff on top. And a lot of times I'm using like a non, you know, just a straight up oat. Yogurt, we'll slap that on top, or sour cream, depending upon the sweet potatoes and the black bean kind of style, or diced avocado. Um, but we'll take one of her little bowls. I don't know if her bowl don't have one out right now, but um, and we just make it fun. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna come up with a bunch of different meals. All right, let's get going. First time, let's squirrel it out. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of butt squash in this guy. We're gonna get a little sweet potato in there. Like I said, we want to come up with like three different kinds. So we're scared to kind of, it's going to be basically out of the amounts I have, I'm going to do three different blenders. I'll have enough for one child to eat for a week, and then I'll have enough to freeze for about probably three days after that if I need to get through. A lot of times I'm kind of like come to a point where I just got to burn a freezer stock, which is awesome. All right, so we're going to throw a little bit of bean in there. A little bit of the red pepper. All right, man. This is going to be super easy. All right, so then you just blizz that, that all blizzed up. Super awesome. We're gonna have a little texture. We got a 16 month old, so we don't mind a little bit of, of, of extra roughage in there, if you will, kind of play around on her teeth. She's got some molars coming in right now, not so great. Um, but anyway, something you can just have fun with. Like I said, have fun with all of it. You know, come up through three different kinds. Slam jam them right inside, cool little containers. I got some fun little masking tape that I just sharpie up, slap that sucker on there. The sucker freezes really well. Not so great with gloves on the handle. Um, but yeah, you got glass, whatever you want to freeze it in, get some ready for the freezer when you do hit that kind of wall and you want to make sure that you got some stuff going on for yourself to get through a day and then and just have fun with it. If you don't have a RoboCoo or Cuisinart or some, some sort of chopping device, you can food mill it. Food mills work great. Um, get yourself a sturdy one though. I've seen some of the kid ones that are horrible. Anyways, have fun with this folks. You got some leftover stuff in your fridge too. Not over processed. Avocado, super fun in there kind of emulsifies and, and, and really pulls watery vegetables and, 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 and starchy kind of potatoes in together and makes it like a, almost like a creamier base. Um, so have fun with this. It's for your kiddos. All right. Enjoy. Let's get it.